Rinse out the burette with water and use a small amount of sodium hydroxide or whatever solution intended to be in the burette to prime the burette. Rotate the burette with the solution inside so that the inside of the burette can be coated with the solution. Repeat this three times. Make sure the stopcock is in the horizontal position and make sure to pour in the sodium hydroxide with the burette below your head. Also be sure that there are no air bubbles at the tip of the burette. Add two drops of phenophthalein as an indicator to the Erlenmeyer flask. Record the initial volume to one degree uncertainty past the graduation on the burette. In this case, record to the hundredths place or two decimal places. Open the stopcock to allow sodium hydroxide to flow out and swirl the Erlenmeyer flask to allow the reaction to occur more quickly. When the solution turns a little pink, slow down. The titration is finished at the end point or where the solution becomes a light pink color. Record the final volume. In a titration, the solution of known concentration is referred to as a titrant whereas the solution of unknown concentration is referred to as the analyte. We use titrations to determine the concentration of the analyte by slowly adding some volume of the titrant until a neutralization reaction occurs, usually shown by a color change. In order to do this, you will need to know the molarity or concentration of the titrant before beginning your titration. You will also need to know the initial volume of both the titrant and the analyte. In order to determine the unknown variable, collect the final volume of the titrant and calculate how much of the titrant was used. This is not a rat race with winners and losers. This is the 